Hi everyone, here I wanted to do a video on Cardinal George Pell, who was the highest ranked Catholic priest to be convicted of child abuse. So he was a third in the Roman Catholic Church, he was a treasurer of the Pope and first involved in handling or covering up child abuse claims and then convicted of abusing boys himself. This is an older video when he was shown evidence for covering up child abuse claims Let's have a look. Oh, it is alleged. Uh, I want to know what it would take to keep you quiet. No, I certainly would never have said that, and I didn't say that. And I, uh, I deeply regret that he misunderstood things in these ways. And before today, I'd never heard a suggestion that he'd put that interpretation on it. He'd never said that to me. Personally, I think he's an excellent liar. He doesn't show any signs of nervousness when he's shown evidence for, for covering up uh, child abuse claims. So what do I see? Uh, when I look at him. He's a bit like a boy in an old man's body. This is often the case when you look at people who don't have kids, they don't have the responsibility showing in their face. Ironically, such church people claim to help people. He looks quite well groomed. He likely has manicures, maybe pedicures, and uses lotions or moisturizers. If you want to understand a person, a shortcut to profiling, and also a good way to remember faces, especially when one witnesses an event, it's not to try to remember all the details, but to look for similarities to known people, like politicians, actors, relatives, friends, colleagues, acquaintances. More often than not, similarities imply similar characters. However, one has to be careful, is this can lead to huge biases. In, in the end, of course, one has to find hard evidence in case of profiling. But this is how the intuition works. Shortcuts, which are hard to explain. Here I see a lot of similarity with Kevin Spacey. I did a video on him as well earlier, who also molested young men. And again, similar features might indicate similar character traits. So similarity is astonishing, I think. Now let's look at a police interview video from 2016, when he was accused of molesting boys. When the investigation into abuse claims were originally launched, he said he welcomed the opportunity to clear his name. So let's see how he is acting in this interview. I presume from these gentlemen, it was the Archbishop Sacristy. Yeah. set up wives and what was supposed to be. Very interesting. So he's crossing his arms, he's leaning back. So it's a very defensive gesture. So if someone wanted to clear his name and he would be innocent, he would use this opportunity to open up and to provide as much detail as possible. The fact that he's retreating, producing a barrier between him and the interrogator is troublesome. Interesting, his lawyer, just a note on the side, also wearing a wedding band, looks homosexual. This is not to be meant disrespectful, but just an observation, like that this is an older guy and this is a younger guy. Why is this significant? Often subconsciously, one picks similarly minded people either to work with a boss picks a similarly minded employee, a professor picks similarly minded students. With romantic partners, it's often the opposite. So opposites attract each other, but not people working together. This just indicates that George Pell might be homosexual as well. And the fact that he's wearing a wedding band doesn't mean anything. For instance, in Australia, same-sex marriages are legal, similarly in other countries. So it just reflects also on George Pell, what kind of character and what kind of personality he has. So these are, of course, just wild speculations. So let's stay with effects. Planted yourself in the, a spot between these two boys and the doorway in the sacristy room after Sunday night. Yes, yes, and in effect prevented them from leaving the room. So the fact that he blinks when the other guy makes a statement is in some sense agreeing and saying yes. He's not saying at this moment he didn't do it. He's just going along with it. This is of course already an indication that this is actually the truth. Now. The boys knew they were in a fair bit of trouble, and uh, he's blinking and not saying anything. He's agreeing that at that time you've uh, moved your robes to one side and exposed your penis. Uh, stop it. He's just saying stop it. He doesn't want to hear it, but he's not saying he said he didn't do it. He's just agreeing with it. <laughs> Funny, this guy here enjoying himself a little bit. You're still at this stage standing with your back to the door. What? Uh, absolutely So he's not saying that this is not true. It's amazing. He's basically agreeing with it. 
Rubbish doesn't mean it's not true. If he wouldn't have done it, he wouldn't cross his arms. He would use this occasion to proclaim his innocence. He would be very angry at this moment. Madness. And all sorts of people used to come to the sacristy to speak to the priest. Yes. So uh, now he's just deflecting and talking about other people. Uh, the sacristans were around. The altar service were around. Mm -hmm. They should have been on their way to change their investment. Yes. He didn't say he didn't do it. It's better legs that you step forward. Grab by the back of his head forced his head down onto your pants. No denial, he's just thinking. So what I think what is happening here is that he's in denial at this moment. He doesn't want this to be true. With that pause, he's basically agreeing. In the this, this, yes. So now he's going back to asking counter questions. He's not saying he didn't do it. And Completely uh, completely false, it comes like 30 seconds after the accusation. And now he's looking down, it's shame. This has gone on for a short period of time. Before, let like go of <laughs> And done the same. It's just, instance, um, forced his head down onto your pants. Not denying it. Completely false. Too late, it's too late. If it were false, he would not wait said long. I mean, at this stage, I can continue on. Please, that's fine. He would be angry. Uh, the boys were terrified at this stage. And... No reaction also. There's a lot of inner monologue going on. He still thinks he can get out of it somehow by not acting, by just waiting it out. He still hopes it will go away somehow. It's been described that uh, holding at this time with two hands on the back of his head before stopping. He's not getting angry. At which time he stood back in the middle of the, the room beside him. He's blinking again. So this blinking often means that it's he's agreeing. It's like saying yes. The band alleged that you've then said, take off your pants. Again agreeing. He blinked. He's not saying it's not true. And you've stepped up to him knelt down, started to fondle his penis, and masturbate yourself at the same time. Agreeing again. Waiting means agreeing. Blinking means agreeing. This is in the sacristy at the cathedral <laughs> after Sunday Mass. He's just going after these details, like that matters at all. Yes. What need I say anymore? What a load of garbage and Falsehood and deranged falsehood. Deranged falsehood, that's a very convoluted statement. If he didn't do it, he would say it straight out. They all stick together, that's a hope. If they all stick to their statements, if in doubt, who wouldn't believe a priest? That's a hope. I thought I wasn't interested. <laughs> like you had an and you know, you see he's a little sweating, he's also red in his face. At least that's the impression here from that lighting and the bad quality of the video. So you can see all the embarrassment. Only on behalf of... <laughs> Sometime after this... You, you've got after choir. Yes. Does that mean after the Mass or after the choir practice? I Who gives a shit if it was after Mass or after choir? The question is, after the question is if he molested his boys. After Mass, after singing in the choir during Mass. These allegations I can, I can state to you were not. Or about after mass. After, after mass. And still in his robes, when he was suddenly pushed against the wall by someone, saw that it was yourself, who pinned him to the wall with one hand. He's not reacting. He's just thinking, how can I get out of this? If I just don't say anything and wait long enough, it will all go away. I am, after all, the third highest ranking Catholic priest in the Roman Church. And moved in closed and used your other hand to grab his genitals over his clothes. Agreeing, blinking, not reacting otherwise. He just hopes it goes away. Squeezing hard. No denial. Very, it was a brief attack that only lasted a couple of seconds. Blinking and agreeing. Well, that's completely false. And pause, that's a problem, it's a pause. 
It's not a spontaneous reaction. I was at the front of the cathedral. Sure, whatever. Okay, fascinating case. So in summary, I find the similarity to Kevin Spacey personally very interesting. So in my opinion, similar features often reflect similar character traits. Life experiences and nurture and generally affect appearances. You can see here with these identical twin examples, whether they live together or not they can look quite different. Of course, this doesn't prove anything. It's sort of like just hunches. What is more telling is that he is crossing his arms. He's not using this opportunity to clear his name, how he claimed to do it. He's not denying anything. He's just blinking, basically agreeing. He has huge pauses before he even responds. So he's in denial. He's, he's thinking it might go away. And he's not getting angry with these horrible accusations. An innocent man would jump out of the seat. So to me, you know, clear cut case. I hope you liked the video and talk to you next time. Bye.